Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Coco Loco. And today we are doing a animal themed baby shower backdrop and treat table. My backdrop got a little destroyed by the wind, but we are going to work it out and let's get into it. So the first step in our project is to spray paint our forefront treat with metallic gold Krylon spray paint. While you're letting that dry, you're going to glass inserts from the frames. I am using the only the glass, not the cardboard insert, and I'm going to be using a Montana black white spray paint. Now that our frames are dry and our glass is dry, we're going to insert our two frames that are now painted. You know, the glass glossy side is the unpainted side, so I'm going to put that face down and then secure that into the frame with the little metal pieces like that. So with our remaining two glass inserts, we are going to use duct tape to cover those. So this is a standard duct tape size, I guess like two inches that I got from Michaels and it is zebra print. So we're just going to stretch it out over the glass and if you're working on a table you can just basically tape the glass down to the table and cut like that on the end and it's okay if there's some overlap because we are going to tuck those overlap pieces away in the back so again just tape it down smooth it out and then cut and I think I used about three strips of tape so if you want to pre-measure and just do it that way that's fine but I'm just gonna flip it over fold over the tape because this portion is going to be on the inside and it's not going to be seen once we put our frames together so there's your finished frame and I will do this for the fourth frame as well next we're going to assemble all the frames together using hot glue and we're just going to make sure that the outward side of the frame is facing out and then the side where the metal pieces are that fold in are facing in and you're going to create like a box. Um, traditionally people use this design to make baby boxes so that's what it's supposed to mimic. Um, this is my little take on it. I'm not trying to make like baby blocks or anything like that. I'm just trying to make a base for my diaper cake that I'm creating. So that is the frame fully assembled. Next we're going to add on some letter blocks. I had these from a previous project, but these are in the description down below. I forgot what size they are, but I spray painted them with the same um, metallic gold spray paint. So you're just going to glue down each of these letters in the middle of each frame. And while you're gluing the letters down, just be sure to spell out the word correctly so that way the letters are in order. So I'm spelling out the word baby, so I'm putting the B, A, and then the B and the Y in that order. So then that way when I, when I turn the actual tower, you can see the word baby as you would read it on a piece of paper. So that's our base, and then we're gonna go into the next step. So this is a cutting board that I got from the Dollar Tree, and since I'm not gluing it down or anything like that, I'm leaving the plastic on it. Then I'm placing a palm leaf on top, and my diaper cake piece, a smaller palm leaf on top of that and then a wood crate that I got from the Dollar Tree that I also painted white. 
and then we are going to add a little garnish of a stuffed animal giraffe and then this giraffe was actually attached to a pacifier but I cut off the pacifier because my daughter only liked the pacifier she didn't like the actual animal and then we are adding some more leaves now these leaves I actually got all three sizes in one package from Amazon so it came with about 30 leaves so 12 of each size sheet so I'm using those and just sticking out the diaper and the kind of well, that kind of there's a diaper cake you could add more or less leaves depending on what look you're going for and once I get there, you guys will see the finished product. So the next part of this project is not something that I created. I actually purchased this from Amazon. I've been seeing this product all over my Pinterest and I just wanted to see how to assemble this product and if it was something I would purchase in the future. So. This, pro this video is not sponsored by this product. I just have a link for it in the description. Um, and as you watch me struggle with this box, I'm not a person that reads instructions, so I just basically winged it. Basically, you put the W shape in first and then the two sides, and then you push in the last piece into the crease, and that's how you assemble the box. Now this item doesn't come with balloons, but essentially you would put balloons inside. It comes with this monogram letter that you pick out yourself, so you only get one letter. Um, so I picked out a K, of course. And I separately purchased balloons to fit my theme. So there was about 30 balloons in the package, so I just blew them up and added them into the box to finish off my table setup and I'm actually going to save the letter for another project but um, I just wanted to showcase the balloons because I thought that was a better focal point than the letter. So this next part of the video is just basically showing you guys how I walk through setting up my dessert table. I really didn't have a layout at first. I was just kind of putting everything I need on the table and then looking at how things look symmetrically and adjusting them accordingly. So I just wanted to show you guys this part. I wanted to go more in depth with this portion of the video, but I had to cut a lot of it because I was not able to get decent footage since the wind was blowing so hard. As you can see, some of those leaves on the backdrop were some of my balloons that I had up on the backdrop also was blowing it started to get a little too frustrating and a little too discouraging and I started to lose daylight but I just want to how I put together my backdrop a little bit and added the balloons and le additional leaves from that same bit. so the package of thirsty did help in this backdrop and table and I think it came out great hopefully you guys agree and you will stick around for it and do a final walkthrough. So that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the two projects from this video. Hopefully next time the wind will be a little more generous to me and let me film a whole setup. But I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know other projects that you want me to do or create. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in and stay crafty.